Hi, my name is Megan Suter. I'm a kinesiologist in Whistler, BC, and I focus on mountain sport performance, injury prevention, and rehabilitation. So today I wanted to give you a no excuse social stretch that we're gonna do together because we all know after a day in the backcountry, the last thing we really want to do is stretch, but we also know that's probably the first thing that we should do. So whether you're at the hut, whether you're at the brewery, maybe just hanging out at your friend's house, I wanna give you a super simple, easy stretch sequence that you can do just to loosen up a little bit and make sure that your recovery is that much easier for the next day, just in case you're going out again. So the first one we wanna do is a figure four stretch, but we're gonna do it sitting. So sitting on your bench or your chair, I want you to sit up nice and tall. You're gonna bring one ankle over the opposite knee. Think about keeping a long spine and I want you to fold forward. So really bending through the hip. Try not to round out through the back too much, but thinking nice and tall, bending forward through the hips so we get a nice stretch through our glutes, a little bit through our hamstrings, also a little bit in the inner thigh as well. So tall chest, hinge forward. We're gonna hold for about 30 to 60 seconds. Um, you could have a competition with your friends, hold for as long as you want, but I wanna make sure that you're getting your breath in while you're stretching, because stretching without breathing isn't super effective. So just making sure you're thinking about nice, big, deep belly breaths, relaxing, and then as you feel your muscles relax, pushing a little bit further into it. So that's our figure four stretch on each side. After that one, we're gonna go into a calf stretch. So we're gonna stand up, you can either face a wall or face a bench, you're gonna get your toe up against the wall or bench. Again, standing nice and tall, have your hand on the wall for support and then leaning forward. So we wanna make sure we're really stretching open the back of the calf and getting into that Achilles. So standing tall and pushing in forward. What I don't want you to do is like hyper extend your knee though, keep a soft bend through your knee. So we're getting a really good stretch through the calf and the Achilles. If you need some stability support, grab a partner and help them out and then you can swap out. Um, when it's time for your buddy to do their calf stretch. So again, nice big deep breaths, letting it lengthen and focusing which, with each breath, letting the muscle lengthen through the back of the leg. After that, we're going to go into a hamstring stretch. So I want you to get your heel on top of your bench or your chair. Again, standing nice and tall, squaring your hips forward, hinge forward, keeping that nice length through the back of the leg working on not folding forward because then we're just really getting into the back, not so much the hamstring. So tall, proud chest, hinging forward, soft bend in the knee, don't completely lock it out. We wanna make sure you feel it in the hamstring, not through that knee joint. The next one, I think this one's my favorite. We're gonna do a version of what's called the world's greatest stretch. So we're gonna get one foot up onto your bench. And I want you to lean into it and really get that knee over top of the toe. So not only are we getting the ankle mobility here, we're also stretching out the back hip flexor and getting deep into that hip flexion. From this position, you're gonna take your opposite arm, put it behind your head, and you're gonna bring that elbow over to the opposite wrist and then open up nice and tall towards that side. So chest opening towards the knee and we're gonna close and open up to the mid back. So here we're getting hips, we're getting ankles and calves, and we're also getting the upper back, which tends to get quite tight, and we can also open the chest while we're hitting all the rest of the joints. So after the world's greatest stretch on each side, last one, really good juicy stretch, is the couch stretch, or we'll call it the bench stretch. I'm gonna get you to put your back foot up onto the bench, get that knee down onto the ground, front foot comes out to stabilize, and then sitting up nice and tall, tucking the tailbone, getting that big stretch to that quad and through that hip, really emphasizing that lengthening. And then you can reach up and over with that same arm, really breathing into that side body and getting into that whole torso from fingertip all the way down to the knee. This series of five stretches should really only take you about 10 minutes. So at the end of the day, just take that time, focus on breathing, relaxing, chatting with your friends and talking about how fun the day was. Just do yourself a favor, set yourself up for success, and your friends will thank you for it too.